Hi and welcome, I'm Julianne Cost. Lightroom Classic has the ability to help you quickly find faces in photos, making it easy to add people's names as keywords. Not only can Lightroom detect faces, it can then recognize similar faces to help you tag the same person when they appear in multiple photographs. I'll start by selecting the scrapbook folder. Then in the toolbar, I'll click on the people icon Lightroom looks at all of the images in the folder and determines if there is or if there's not a face in each photo. Lightroom Classic will then display a thumbnail of each of the faces that it detects in the unnamed people view. If it identifies the same person in multiple photos, it will stack those photos together. If you want to verify the stack, you can click on the number of the stack to expand it. Since we can see that everyone in this stack is the same person, I'll click on the stack again in order to collapse it. Then I'll name that person. When I tap return or enter, the named person gets moved from the unnamed people to the named people area. I'll start naming the next person, which is also me, and Lightroom will auto-complete it for me. When I tap enter, it will combine all of the images of me. As you name the same person over and over again, Lightroom will then start suggesting that person by entering their name below their thumbnail. Now all I need to do is click on the check in order to name those instances. Now here I have a different person and in order to name these all quickly, I'm going to select all of the different thumbnails of my friend. That way when I click and type in Donna, all of these images will get Donna as a keyword. Once named, they will also be added to the Named People area. I'll go ahead and do the same thing for my friend Tony. By selecting all of the images and then typing in Tony, we can see that Lightroom is continuing to make suggestions. Now it looks like I've missed a few, so let's drag and drop these on top of the Tony stack. All right, let me just clean up the rest of these photos. This image of my grandfather, I'll go ahead and name it. This image, however, I'm not sure who the person is or what photograph it's in. In order to check, I can double click on it and it will show me the entire image. So it happens to be in the image of my grandfather who I want to have a tag, but this bystander I don't know. So I'll click on the X in order to remove the tag. Now in order to return to people view, I can either click on the people icon in the toolbar or I can tap the O key. All right, let's move to another folder. We can see that Lightroom Classic automatically started detecting faces because I'm in people view. If I wanted Lightroom to look for faces throughout my entire catalog, I could click on the identity plate and unpause the face detection. You can also choose catalog settings. In Windows, it would be under the edit menu and enable automatically detect faces in all photos. All right, let's go ahead and select the images here that I want to name. And then I have two more images here that I can select and we'll call this Big Brother. Now, as soon as we name these people, that name becomes a special kind of keyword called a people keyword. If we view our keyword list, we can see that we can filter based on people. If I want to see all of the images that have that person in it, I can click on the arrow to the right of the person's name. Lightroom automatically filters all of the photographs in my catalog using the metadata attribute on that specific keyword. All right, let's disable that. There are two differences with people keywords. If I double click on a people keyword, you can see that in fact it has the person option enabled. This person option is what enables me to filter just based on the people keyword. In addition, if I double click on this image, and then I select the draw a face region icon. Here we can see that the people keywords are actually region specific. This can help us with identifying the specific people in the photograph because we can see the tags. All right, let's move back to the childhood folder for one moment. I just want to move through here and make sure that Lightroom did in fact find all of the faces. Now, if you come across an image like this, we can see that Lightroom Classic wasn't able to detect all of the faces. So in order to manually define a people keyword, I'll just make sure that I have the draw a face region icon selected and then click and drag over the face and then start typing in the name. 
Before we wrap up, I'll return to Grid View. And when you're ready to export your images, you can decide whether or not to export person keywords. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.